click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends in the previous lecture we have discussed about the chemical properties of amines and now we are going to talk about the chemical reactions of amine so starting with the first one that is we are going to talk about the reaction of amines with nitrous acid so now let's get started So friends, in this topic, we want to talk about the reactions of amines with nitrous acid. So as we understand that is there are three types of amines that is primary, secondary and tertiary as well as quaternary also. But let me talk about the primary, secondary and tertiary amines reaction with nitrous acid. So talking about the first one that is what is the reaction of primary amine with nitrous acid. So that is what I'm going to talk about with the help of a general reaction. So now for that we have that is I'm talking about the primary amines that is suppose if we are talking about RNH2. That is nothing but a primary amine and suppose if we are reacting it with nitrous acid and obviously we understand that it's nitrous acid is the one it produces because of sodium nitride along with the reaction of HCN. So that is the reason that I am considering here as NaNO2 along with that of 2 moles of HCN. So the temperature that we should provide in this case so as the reaction should occur and so as the reaction could give us a product. So in that case basically we are providing the temperature of 0 to 5 degrees Celsius that is at lower temperature the product that we could obtain over here is nothing but it is a complex that is R and 2 Cl that is it is known as alkyl diazonium salt of or alkyl diazonium chloride so again this is the product that we have obtained and the other byproducts that we could obtain here is NaCl along with that of that is 2 moles of H2 but suppose if this R and 2 Cl that is alkyl diazonium chloride suppose if it reacts with H2 so the reaction proceeds in such a manner that the product that we could get is nothing but it is an alcohol that is ROH along with that of that is N2 along with that of HCl that would be removed as byproduct so here basically we have converted the primary amine into an alcohol the reaction can be easily detected to determine whether it is primary secondary or tertiary because if primary amines if it reacts with that is nitrous acid because obviously the nitrous acid it produces in C2 so that's the reason that the alcohol that would be obtained along with that of the nitrogen gas so if nitrogen gas is obtained so we can easily state that is the amine is nothing but a primary amine so now let me give an example for this one and later on we are going to talk about what is the reaction of secondary amine with nitrous acid as well as what is the reaction of tertiary amine with nitrous acid so now let me give the example related to this one first so for that we have so here I'm considering the example of that is C2H5 NH2 that is ethanamine. The reason why that is I am not considering methanamine because methanamine is not reactive with that of nitrous acid and that's the reason that I am using this as an example. So whenever that is I am writing the same the general reaction we can refer the general reaction and for that we have that is NaNO2 along with that of that is 2 moles of HCl and at lower temperature of that is 0 to 5 degrees Celsius. So in this case the product that we could obtain over here I could write over here as C2H5 N2 Cl minus and that is nothing known as it is known as alkyl diazonium chloride and this is the product that we could get along with the other byproducts that is nothing but NaCl along with that of that is 2 moles of H2 but again this that is ethyl diazonium chloride again suppose if it is reacted with water molecule so therefore the product that we could obtain whenever the reaction this occurs so therefore the product that is nothing but C2H5OH along with that of N2 as a byproduct that is it will be liberated in the form of a gas while the rest of the byproduct it will be nothing but HCl. So this is how basically we have converted the primary amine that is ethanamine to ethanol and this can be easily detected or because of the help of the evolution of nitrogen gas. So this was the reaction or this was the reaction of primary amine with nitrous acid. And now let me talk about the second one that is reaction of secondary amine with nitrous acid. Suppose if I consider the secondary amine that is nothing but I would write it over here as R N R and I would write it over here as H because this is nothing but this is secondary amine. And suppose if I'm reacting it with nitrous acid that is nothing but H O N double bond O that is HNO2 and again the temperature is the same that is suppose from 0 to 5 degrees Celsius the reaction it's occurring and obviously this HO and this H that will be removed in the form of a byproduct so therefore the byproduct is H2 and the product that we could obtain over here is R N R while here it will be that is nothing but N double bond O 
and this product that has been formed over here it will have basically pale yellow color and because of which we could easily determine whether this amine is primary secondary or tertiary so this reaction occurs in this manner and this is the product that we could get so now let me give you an example related to this one and let us understand that is how the product is been obtained and how we can differentiate it with primary secondary as well as tertiary amine suppose for that we have an example that is c2h5 and c2h5 this is nothing but diethylamine and suppose if it is reacted with ho and double bond o that is hno2 and that is between the temperature is 0 degree celsius to 5 degree celsius so in that case basically we could say that is the product that we could obtain as a byproduct here is h2 so h2 it will be removed as a byproduct while the main product that is what we have to obtain is that have a c2h5 and c2h5 here it is n double bond o so this is the product that we have got over here and the name of this product it could be given as n nitroso diethyl amine so this is the product that we could obtain here and this is also a product that will have a, a pale yellow color and this is what we can differentiate whether this amine that has been used for this reaction with that is nitrous acid whether it is primary secondary or tertiary so if it gives a pale yellow ppt or if it gives a pale yellow colored product then we could say that is the amine that has been used in this reaction is secondary amine so this was the reaction with secondary amine and now let me talk about the third one so if i talk about a tertiary amine that is i am considering r n r here also r it is a tertiary amine and suppose if i am reacting it with that is nitrous acid that is in presence of h o n double bond o so that is also between the temperature that is 0 degree celsius to 5 degree celsius so in that case the product that we could obtain here is nothing but it is a complex that we could obtain or it is a salt that is what we could obtain that is r3 n h plus and this is no2 which has a minus charge so this is the product that we have got and the name of this product could be basically a nitrite salt so depending on this basically this product that has been obtained it is very much soluble in water and that's the reason that it has no color so we can't find a specific change uh, whenever nitrous acid is been reacted with a tertiary amine so that's the reason it is also been possibly said that is there is no reaction that has been occurring with a tertiary amine along with that of that is nitrous acid but still let me give you an example related to this one and let us elaborate that what is the product that we could obtain if a tertiary amine is reacting with nitrous acid so friends, suppose if I'm considering that is C2H5 and here also I'm writing here C2H5 that is known as triethylamine and suppose if I'm reacting it with HNO2 then the product that I could get is nothing but it would be C2H5 thrice that would be attached with NH which would have a positive charge while this one will have that is NO2 outside it so this is nothing but a salt or basically nitrate salt the name of this product is triethyl ammonium nitrite so this is the product that we could get and there is no color of it because this is a colorless solution that is what we could obtain so that's it so there are different reactions of amines with nitrous acid depending on whether they are primary secondary or tertiary so that's it thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope you will be able to differentiate the primary secondary and tertiary if we reacted with nitrous acid so thank you friends for watching this video i hope i will see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to channel thank you so much